Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Nothing says Happy Valentine's Day better than a beautiful gift basket. And joining us today with tips on how to create the perfect gift basket is Nelda Stevens Jackson. Welcome to the show, Nelda. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> we are me. so glad to have you here. Yes. You brought beautiful baskets Thank in for you. us. Thank you. We just enjoyed looking at them. So, first of all, tell us exactly what it is that you do mm -hmm. and what you provide. We have a gifting company, uh -huh. and what we do is we personalize gifts based on what the customer is requesting. Okay. Okay. So you will tell us what the recipient's occasion is, what their likes and dislikes are, if they have any dietary restrictions, mm -hmm. and we'll put together the perfect gift for you. Aww. And you also work within different price ranges. Can people we do. tell you what they want, and what is that range? We do. We actually do personalized mugs that start at eight ninety five. Okay. We can fill those with goodies, and that would start at fourteen ninety five on up to the hundreds. This That's might be really perfect good. for the guys. Thinking of Valentine's <laughs> exactly. Day, they could call you, let you know the budget, That's what right. their girlfriend or That's wife right. likes, and you can kind of go from exactly. there. That's something really exactly. nice, right? Exactly. <laughs> now, you provide, I mean, not only food in the gift baskets, but you have other services too. Talk to us about that. We do. We do a lot of personalization and customization. Okay. So, if, for instance, if someone has a graduate, they'll send us a picture, we'll put that picture in a frame, include that in the gift. Aww. Or we can also put photos on the personalized ribbon, you'll see personalized ribbon right there. Right, right. That's, uh, we can put your sentiment, a, a photo in black and white on those uh, ribbons. We also are able to customize it based on colors. If someone wants a particular color, mm -hmm. we'll go with that. If they like particular food items, mm -hmm. if they like particular scents, mm -hmm. we'll We'll include those in the gifts. Oh, that's really nice. How special to personalize that. Mm -hmm. and, and you're going to be walking us through sure. how to make a gift, sure, gift sure basket, am. right? Where do we start? What I did first was I, I stuffed the opening with some newsprint. Okay. And that gives you a base and a foundation. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start with the taller items, and we're going to place those in the back. And that's going to give you some balance. Okay. And plus, you'll be able to see most of the products when you put the, the gift together. Okay. Now, I have this really heavy candle that says, above all else love, perfect uh -huh. for Valentine's Day. Very cute. And we will put that up front. That's going to give us a little bit more balance. Now, when you're relaxing, you like a cup of tea. We have this beautiful dance mug. It has some spiced raspberry tea oh, and a nice. honey spoon. Nice. And we'll place that in here. A honey spoon. A honey <laughs> spoon. So you can stir and you can get that taste of honey. You and what else sweet. should we be keeping in mind while we're making the gift Now, one of the things that you do want to keep in mind when you're putting together scented products, okay. you don't want to include chocolate. Chocolate absorbs scents oh, and then it tastes really <laughs> That's nasty. That's a good tip. <laughs> and then we're going to put this bar of soap in here. And to top it off with some Valentine bling, you're going to put this beautiful heart right there. But then to fill the openings, Oh, you're going okay. to I like it. That's what like the shred that is for, but you want to tuck the shred. Some people like the shred sticking out so okay. that you get that yeah. hint of color, but a lot of times we tuck it in, just to, it also kind of stabilizes it. Mm -hmm. Another thing to keep in mind when you're putting together a gift is you don't want your items to move around. You want them to fit snugly. If they don't fit snugly, you need a smaller container. Okay. And how much uh, notice would you need if someone wants a gift basket for an occasion? For same day delivery. Okay. If I get an order before 12 noon, 12 I can get it okay. to you before right. the date. But if they want customization and I have to do some personalized shopping, I'll need at least three days. Okay. And we're doing a giveaway today. Yay! Tell us what's inside of the giveaway. Oh, this is an awesome basket. <laughs> it has some spicy sriracha cheese crisps, some lava fudge cupcake cookies, it has some country fresh fudge. It's a whole box of that. We have some dipped Oreos, some mustard because we have some uh, peanuts and some pretzels for the mustard. And I also have some Blue Monday sweets from Ruth Hunt. Wonderful. Oh, I and love some it. And popcorn. Love it. Well, let's get all the information up on the screen right now. The third caller is the winner. $75 value for this gift basket. You can see the number on your screen, 859-566-3636. Third caller. And let's put up all the information to order a gift basket. Yes. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to win. But if not, reach out. Give them a call. We'll also post this over on our Facebook page. But stay with us. We have more Midday Kentucky coming up after the break. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you. Much. you. It was you so